Good morning. No. Good afternoon. It's almost five o'clock. Um, we are so happy that you are here. We vlog every day and we hope you'll come back tomorrow if you like this video. Um, I think we are just staying home tonight. There is another presidential debate and uh, yeah, we're going to get some stuff done around the house. But first, I am going to make some loaded nachos for dinner. So the key to oven nachos is the layering. So I'm going to do a small layer of chips and then put meat on top. Hello boy. Yes, I have a jumpsuit on. Yes, I've had a very exhausting work day and it's not even over. I've been writing, I've been making like report updates that I've been neglecting because they're super boring. But I have to do them because at any moment I could go on paternity leave. I also then have been writing SOPs. Do you what know how? What does SOP stand for? It's a standard of... Practice? Practice. There's a bunch of different standard practices. One, um, steps of process is another way of oh, thinking yeah. about it. <laughs> I've been writing directions on all the different things I run every day, every week kind of thing. It's so boring. <laughs> and your mind just goes crazy. Screenshots, writing steps down, changing things, making It'll things. It'll be so worth it though once you're off. Also, our doggy likes to make a mess when she eats. And she's been so tired today. So here is the meat concoction. We have been using this as like easy dinners the past couple of nights. Um, so I used mushrooms, onions, farro as like the meat and just did normal like a packet of taco seasoning and then added in two cans of black beans and a can of corn. So that is kind of like the cheat, like that's already done, but it will have to get heated up in the oven. So I'm gonna do a layer of meat, more chips, and then more meat. And apparently he's snacking before dinner. I'm gonna have a little spinach as a snack. I'm really hungry. Here are the rest of my ingredients. Some will be cold, like stay cold, and will be put on after the fact. But I think this cheese, the jalapenos, and maybe the salsa will go on before it goes in the oven. We are preheating to 400. Alrighty, so that is in the oven. And now I'm just preparing the topping. So I took two avocados, mashed those up, put some fresh garlic, salt, pepper, and half a lime's worth of juice to make a little guacamole on top. Also going to add in some paprika. I chopped up some romaine lettuce, some cherry tomatoes, and now I'm going to make the little dressing that goes on top. This is like a spoon and a half Full of just plain hummus. You could use just like sour cream. And then, this is dangerous, a little bit of water. And then shaky garlic and chives on top. And then half a lime's worth of juice. And then mix it all together. Wow, those are quite some nachos. Um, I just put the cold ingredients on top and then mixed it with a spatula then topped it with salt pepper garlic and some cholula hot sauce nachos for two i guess all right so we cut the footage yesterday of me framing these which took a little while but our wonderful beautiful u.s patents for multiple attractions coming from disneyland um people mover it's monorail Excuse me. Excuse me. It's just for relaxing. Okay? Don't eat Minnie's hand. Hey. Don't chew on Minnie's hand, please. Just relax. Okay? Thank you. This is, I think, my favorite Doom Buggies from Haunted Mansion. Um. <laughs> barn, not barn server. <laughs> Shoot. Heck, uh, mountain. 
Disneyland Mountain called um, Cali, not Cali River Rapids. Matterhorn. Matterhorn. <laughs> we got the Matterhorn. <laughs> this really cool one that's like a predecessor to Spaceship Earth. And this is like Sarah's favorite, the teacups. So they're gonna go in this formation up here, but Sarah and I are about to talk the nitty gritty annoying details. And Eve is just loving the crib. It's your little bow tie. What are you sniffing? <laughs> All right, so here's the before look. Sarah's just bouncing away, trying to get this baby to rock and roll. So it's not as crazy as I thought. So this is, ooh, not as crazy as, ooh, not as crazy as I thought. So now it's just trying to actually measure it all out and hang them individually. Like, do you start with the middle one and work your way out or what? Now it's been some time now, but I have this up so far. <laughs> it's been, it's, the math ended up being wrong. So we discovered that our ceiling is actually crooked. So I actually hung that center one like four different times before I realized and we just kind of like determined that we were happy with it there and now I had to remeasure everything based off of that center one because the ceiling is crooked. You can even kind of see it there. Ooh, I was so mad when I had that realization. But so far, I'm happy with it, but we're not halfway, we're almost halfway. Peter's been kicking butt. Looks so good. I'll do a grand reveal once it's like fully done. Um, but I've been working on a little something that you'll see soon. But I'm gonna go make our bed in the hopes that it puts me into labor. Too much work for this girl. And here we go. Final debate before the presidential election. This is your reminder right now to make your plan to go vote. And this is what we're gonna be watching for the next little bit. A little cryptic sneak peek of what I've been working on. Evie is just exhausted. She's got her face between the couch and the window. Peter's making me some tea. Um, some red raspberry leaf tea. Um, it's supposed to help induce labor. Just admiring these blueprints or these patents. Wait until tomorrow's vlog or on our Facebook as well. I'm gonna, the, we get really good sunlight in, in yeah. James's room. And with our lighting right now is like one sided, so it's very glary. Yeah. But when the we sun comes in in the morning, good. it's just gonna light up these patents. Yeah. I'm pretty uncomfortable tonight, but nothing like too crazy. I don't. Can we go have our baby yet? I don't know. I'm, <laughs> I'm ready. I am too. And we have some things that we have to bring into the car, like. Last minute sneaky snacks. Peter got some slippers and all of that sort of stuff. But my goodness, we are ready. Come on, little baby. Hello, everybody. I feel like I wasn't in the vlog too much today, but my work day was kind of crazy. Just like had meetings I didn't expect and everything. You know, business is always evolving and changing. So that was a thing. Um, but I'm super happy about those blueprints or those patents being put up. But time to do this message. All right, today, October 22nd. Oh, James is gonna be here so soon. He was supposed to, he was gonna originally be here today with that C-section. Today's message is by the Dalai Lama. Take into account that great love and great achievements involve great risk. Ooh. So we got a good weekend ahead of us it would be really great if we ended up in the hospital this weekend but worst case um it'll be soon very 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 soon i can't wait for you guys to see the new little thing sarah was working on me too and i have another project that i want to work on over the weekend that is more video editing it's for the birth vlog oh yeah good to be home <laughs> it's good to be home look at our sippy puppy she's been over it since the debate she's like i ain't i'm a dog i'm not voting i'm not about this debate but if she wasn't a dog she'd be voting biden harris
We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.